guys, this is the Transform Gundam. I just wanted to record a quick video to report that yes, I am still alive. Uh, I know it's been a while since my last video, about five months since I did an unboxing of this kit here. Um, but a lot's been going on recently. Uh, for one, if you can't tell, I am actually in a new place. Uh, I recently moved uh, because I am actually back in school. Uh, so I am doing a master's program in athletic training. So hopefully by the time it's all said and done, uh, I'll be a certified athletic trainer. Um, and yeah, real exciting stuff. Um, I already started the program, uh, finished my first semester and now I'm in my second semester. It started um, over the fall. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing uh, these past few months is just getting settled back into school. And um, yeah, uh, first of all, I do apologize about the audio. I know it sounds really echoey in this room, but um, I'm just gonna have to deal with it for now. Uh, I'll have to somehow find a way to kind of mute that echoing a little bit. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know, because I'm not really sure. I'm not really much of a sound guy, so um, yeah. But anyways, just wanted to make this video. Um, yes, I'm still alive. Uh, and yes, I have started actually building the uh, ARC-78 F-00 high mobility type. Um, been making slow progress. I actually was going to make a let's build, but I just got so busy, I just didn't get to it. So I just kind of started building it on my own. Um, so I still be planning on doing a review on this guy. Uh, I just don't know when. Uh, maybe I will try working on it a little bit this weekend. Um, but the main reason why I wanted to make this video is because I heard that Hobby Lobby started to stock new kits. Um, if you haven't heard or seen, uh, they actually started carrying more master grade kits and more real grade kits, uh, as well as a few more high grades. But you know, the main thing that interested me is the fact that they got more master grade kits, uh, mainly the Gundam Eclipse and the um, Gundam uh, Arc 78. Shoot, why am I blanking on which version of the Arc 78? It's the newest one. Uh, Gundam The Origin, Gundam The Origin, Master Grade Arc 78-2. Um, so yeah, now they have the Master Grade Eclipse, the Gundam The Origin Arc 78 Master Grade, the Arc 78 version 1.5, which has been a thing for a while. Um, and also a kit that I'm really excited for, the Real Grade Xeon, which is a kit I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, so I figured, you know, I might as well go check out the Hobby Lobby where I'm at now, it's different from my local one, so we'll kind of go check out, see what they have. And if they do have the real grade Xeon, maybe I'll pick it up, um, especially if they do still have that 40% off sale going on. Um, I know it's been going on for a while and I'm not too sure how often they do it, but I think they do it pretty often. So um, yeah, figured let's go do another toy hunt and uh, go check out Hobby Lobby and see what we can find. So yeah, let's go. All right, so we made it to Hobby Lobby. Uh, I don't think I've actually been to this one before, so we'll see what they have. And also in the same shopping center, I totally forgot if you can see that. Let's see, over there is a anime store called Otaku Cafe. Um, and they actually sell Gundam kits too. So maybe I'll go check that out as well. Um, I'm mostly just here for Hobby Lobby um, because they have their um, discount going on. And since I am back in college, I really don't have that much money to spend. So who knows Who knows if I actually buy anything. But, you know, I figured that place would also be pretty cool to check out as well. So maybe I will do that. But first of all, let's go check out Hobby Lobby and see what they got. Well, guys, I'm here at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I did briefly go down the model kit section. They didn't really have a lot. And there's kind of a lot of people there. So I don't want to record because I don't want to accidentally record anyone or get anyone talking in the background. So... Uh, in the meantime, I would just show off some of these cool Star Wars posters they have. So check all this out here. And don't worry, I will go through the section eventually, just when there's less people. And check out over here as well. Some cool Batman posters. Some Marvel stuff as well. It's a sweet poster. Oh, that's cool. I do love that classic Avengers. Okay, finally people have left, so I can kind of check out what they have here. Uh, so they do have some Pokemon cards, paints, of course, 
Um, then you got some action pieces as well. That's pretty cool. And then as for the kits, as you can see, of course, it's got the Intrigate R28-2. They have some of the Star Wars kits here, the ATST, X-Wing, Starfire, Boba Fett. And then getting into the rest of the model kits here, they do have some high grades. Of course, the Leo, Sharsaku 2, Barbados, Zaku 2 F2, which I heard is a pretty good kit. As for real grades, they just have the ARC 78 2. No real grade to Young, unfortunately. Um, they do have the high grade Mark 2, the high grade Gundam Wing Sky Zero. Oh, and now I'm sorry, they do have the real grade Exia as well, which is a great kit. I've actually already built this kit. And check it out, they do actually have the Master Grade version 1.5, but this is the only Master Grade kit they do have here. So I think I'd rather wait for the Origin version because it's a much better kit. But they still do have the 40% off model kit sale. Um, and then they do have this G-Frame Blitz here, which is also really cool. Uh, but really, that's about it for model kits here. The rest is just standard cars and planes and, you know, if you're into that stuff. Uh, I did find this, which is interesting. Missing pieces, so I don't really know why they would want to sell this. But, you know, I don't even think, I don't even know if that's discounted or not. $37.99, so that's still kind of expensive. But... Anyways, that's about it. A little bit disappointing, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything here today. Let's see, on the other side, I do have some of these Metal Earth kits, which I've tried building in the past, but I could just was never really good at them, but they are cool looking. Uh, they got the Terminator, they got Iron Man, Mandalorian. Um, down here, they do have a uh, at, at which is really cool. Uh, they have Arc Strength Dash 2, the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, this is really cool, like little metal kits. I just, I don't know, tried building them, but it's just not really for me. And check this out. They actually have some of the Pokemon model kits here. So Pikachu for $9. And they also have, I don't really know this one actually, Score Bunny. So those are actually pretty cool. And then they have some of these knockoff Legos here. So Charizard and Pichu. Uh, but yeah, so those are cool to see. Well, obviously that was a bit disappointing. They didn't have any of the kits I was looking for. Uh, it was nice to see the Arc 78 2 version 1.5, but uh, right now I'm just walking to Otaku Cafe and we'll check out the Super Bay. All right, so check this out. They have a bunch of kits here, a bunch of high grades. Ooh, check these out. Master grades. A lot of good stuff here. Hi, new Bird Hall. Ooh, that's awesome. Some more stuff over here. Yeah, these guys are loaded. Master grade Ian. That's cool to see. Yeah, they have like every high grade you can think of. Shenlong, Freedom, Strike. Got some more stuff over here. It's pretty cool. Got some like accessory kits over here. Some of the 30 minute mission kits, these are always a lot of fun. Ooh, they have the metal metallic, coat, uh, metallic coating version. Uh, I actually built this kit before. This is a really cool kit. And they have the uh, metallic coating version for the Sazabi. But yeah, it's a little, little pricey there, but that's, that's cool to see that they have some exclusive kits here. Oh, check this out. Evangelion Unit Zero Real Grade. That's cool to see. And then I'm a, I'm a cross kit as well. Yeah, this place is awesome. And then let's check out the other side. They have Entry Grade Strike Gundam Arc 78. This is cool. I've never seen this before. $62 though. Ooh, Robot Spirits Crossbone Gundam. And then on this side. 
got some SD kits. Man, this is old school. That's cool. But yeah, I mean, if you guys want me to go more in detail on the kits, what they have, let me know. Cause man, they have a lot. They have the high grade Zion. Gundam the Origin High Grade Gundam. Some real grades here. I don't even have the real grade God Gundam. I still need that kit. Doesn't look like they have it though. But yeah. So awesome selection here. And cool little poster as well. Okay, so I'm back in my car. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately the um, toy hunt was a bust. Um, there actually was a lot of cool stuff as you saw at uh, Otaku Cafe. Just uh, unfortunately I have really limited budgets, so you know, I couldn't really buy anything. Uh, I mainly just wanted to go to see if I can find the Rogue Raid Zijong at Hobby Lobby, or even the uh, Gundam The Origin uh, Arc 2 Master Grade, or the Gundam Eclipse. Um, but yeah, Otaku Cafe is super cool. Um, if you you know want me to go back and record more footage of it, just show off more of the kits they have because they had a lot of cool stuff and some really cool like hard to find exclusive stuff as well, like that metallic uh, new Gundam. I haven't seen that locally um, before. Uh, well, actually, I got mine from Japan uh, for a really good price, so that's where I found mine. And also that metallic Sazabi, man, that would look so cool with my new Gundam, but they were charging like seventy dollars for it. And I definitely can't be spending that kind of money right now on model kits. So I had to pass on that. Um, but yeah, Taco Cafe, if you're in the area of San Antonio, Texas, definitely go check it out. Uh, def definitely a cool place. Uh, they used to do um, Gundam build nights where they would, um, you know, host uh, build nights. And uh, we'd have a local group that would go and just hang out and uh, buy drinks because it is like technically a cafe. So they do sell like beverages and just build Gundams and kind of chill. Uh, it was really cool. I'm not really sure if they still do that. I think they do. And then I think they also uh, uh, hold Gundam competitions as well once in a while. So, you know, if you're local to the area, definitely go check them out. They have a cool arcade as well. I uh, couldn't really get any footage of that unless I actually paid to get in. So couldn't really show that off. But uh, yeah, definitely a cool store. If you want me to you know, go back and record more footage, I definitely will. Um, I should probably just actually go talk to the owners and make sure if they're okay with me recording. I just kind of just went in. And since there's nobody in the Gundam section, I just kind of recorded real fast. Um, but if you want me to go into more detail, I definitely will. And um, yeah, definitely go check out your Hobby Lobby. See if they have any of those new kits that I was talking about. Um, and then especially if that 40% uh, off sale is still happening, take advantage of it and uh, buy them. Like I've been seeing people post that they've been getting the real grade, uh, the master grade Eclipse for like $30, which is like usually like what, a $60 kit online, if not more. So yeah, definitely go take advantage of that. Go check your local Hobby Lobbies. Uh, maybe you'll have better luck. I'm in my Hobby Lobby. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this toy hunt. Um, so, you know, hopefully this will kind of make up for my lost time away from YouTube. Uh, honestly, I don't know when I'll get back to making normal videos again. It's probably gonna be a while since, you know, I'm gonna be really busy um, with schooling. Um, and uh, yeah, so I can't really promise that I'll be on a regular upload schedule again. Uh, I will try to review that um, ARC-28 uh, F-00 high mobility type once I finish building it. Um, and then after that, uh, I'll have to see because at the moment that's really the only kit I have with me at my new place. I left all my stuff back at home. Um, so um, yeah, so we'll, we'll have to see what will be next after that. So you know, maybe I'll keep checking my local Hobby Lobby and just chip, um, get a cheap kit from there. Or even from Otaku Cafe, they had a lot of cool, kind of cheaper stuff as well. Uh, like some of those like old SD kits are really cool looking as well. So uh, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Comment down below um, if you were more lucky at your local Hobby Lobby. I'm interested to see uh, what you guys have at yours. So um, 
and don't forget to subscribe turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos not that you're missing much anyways because i don't have a regular upload schedule right now uh but uh yeah oh and also don't forget to join the discord uh we still do have a small community um really cool guys there um really chill so yeah just go check out my discord if you just want to chill out with a bunch of cool nerds and to talk about gundam and other stuff put a link to that in the description below as well uh, anyways guys i will see you guys next time peace